Hi everyone, so this is Marauders here and today I'm going to give you a few quick tips for playing Steam games or any other desktop PC game on uh, the Acer W4 or rather any other Intel Bay Trail tablet. The first tip I'm going to give you is actually kind of a downer but uh, you have to, it's the truth. The main thing here is you never buy a game with the intention of playing it on the tablet. <clears throat> the problem here is that even though the Bay Trail video processor is quite good, it is definitely in a lower class of performance. The other issue here is that all these 8 inch Atom tablets only have 2 gigs of RAM. So they are quite limited in what you can or can't play. And the other issue is that since we're talking about desktop games here, you it, it's hard to judge whether whether your PC can actually play something just by its graphics. For example, a game that has heavy 3D graphics like uh, uh, Left 4 Dead or The Walking Dead might run acceptably on the on the on the Acer W4, but Sometimes you look at a simple 2D game like maybe Nidhogg or Legend of Dungeon. It, it looks like it's 2D but for some reason or another it might just might not want to run on the on on the Acer W4 or any other Intel Atom tablet that is that only has 2 gigs of RAM. So never buy a game with the intention of playing it only on the Acer W4 you might find yourself dis getting disappointed very quickly. Now before you start to play any desktop game like on Steam or anything, what you must always remember that you want to do first is that you want to lock the screen orientation. So what you do is you bring out the charms bar, hit settings, tap on screen, and now if you notice there is a little icon here that's the lock orientation so now you tap on it it becomes a lock so now it won't automatically rotate the screen now the reason you want to do that is because if for any reason you had to move the tablet while you're playing if you cause the orientation orientation the ro screen rotation the game would most likely not like that and uh, well the, in if it's in good cases, it will just crash. In bad cases, it might actually keep running, but it might get a bit confused as to what screen resolution is running at. So always remember lock your screen resolution before you do anything else. The next tip is that you must have a keyboard and a mouse connected to the tablet when you're going to play a desktop game. Now the reason you want to do this is because that even though you have a touch screen, most likely is that a desktop game would not respond to the touch screen the same way as a proper Windows application, especially if it goes into full screen and starts changing around the re resolutions, it will most likely not work properly. And of course, most ga desktop games expect the keyboard to be there. So there might be instances where you can't do something without a keyboard. So you must have a keyboard connected, the keyboard and mouse connected to the Acer W4 if you're going to play desktop games on it. Now, the other recommendation is you don't necessarily need to use a Bluetooth keyboard, but it's great because using Bluetooth means you can free up the USB port so that you can actually charge the keep the tablet charged when you're playing since we know that playing games draw more power in terms of controlling a game you might be tempted to of course just use the old handy Xbox 360 style control wire controller but again on the Acer W4 if you use a USB port that's it, you can't charge the the tablet at the same time as you're playing if you use a wired controller like this because well, although there are some articles on the internet that says that it's possible to wire up a power hub to charge the Acer I haven't actually been able to nail down 
the specific way to actually do it. I haven't actually managed to do it myself. So, in lieu of that, the recommendation is of course to use a wireless controller. There are plenty of uh, Bluetooth controls out there you can get for Windows, but uh, my recommendation is to use a PlayStation 4 DualShock 4 controller. Now, they are, they are, I'll include a link to the DS4 tool that allows you to use this on the on Windows. Now, the added plus about using this as a controller is that with the tool, it can pretty much follow, map, emulate a Xbox 360 controller. But with the tool itself, what you get is you actually get a you can you can see that the touchpad actually works as a mouse. So it's kind of useful <clears throat> since you can use it as a mouse. It's an extra way of getting around things. So. I'll include a link to the DS4 tool in the video description and um, please do check it out. So of course you can also use a DualShock 3 and any other Bluetooth controller which you can map using the various other tools to map it as a Xbox 360 controller. But yeah, this is my recommendation. Okay, that's it. I hope those short tips help you get the most out of your Steam on desktop gaming on your Acer W4. For more videos like this, please like or subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much and I'll see you around.